Welcome to Fall 2022 Business 218, Microsoft 365 Advanced Excel, also known from the catalog as Spreadsheet Construction. Now, all of you have taken the prerequisite class, Business 216, so you know we have two sites, the People website with all of our files, videos, and notes, and we have a Canvas site. So we have two different websites. Now we're going to have a tour of both websites, but we're going to start off here at our People website. And we want to first go look at our syllabus. So I'm going to click this link. Now on page one, we have a hyperlink table of contents. So later, if you want to come back and read about the Excel tests or the quizzes or the schedule, you just click and it jumps you right to that page. Control Home to jump back to the top. Now for day one, your job is to study the syllabus. Now we're going to look at a few things. So I'm going to scroll down. You get to study all of this. And the first thing we want to talk about is computer requirements. Now as was communicated in the schedule when you signed up for this class, you are required to use a Windows-based PC computer with Microsoft 365 Excel and a standard keyboard. Now here's a picture of the standard keyboard, and there are big advantages to having a standard keyboard in the business world. Now lots of us are stuck with a laptop. This is a picture of my laptop. And the difference is when you use a laptop, there's an FN key. And you have to use that to access the F keys. Up here on a standard keyboard, the F keys are easily accessed. Also on a standard keyboard, we have navigation keys which help us to do things quickly. Now later in video number four, week number five, you're also going to have to download a free app from Microsoft called Power BI Desktop. But we'll do that later in the class. Now Mac and Chromebook computers will not work for this class. And the reason why is they're totally different than PC computers. Now the Highline Business Department is closely aligned with employers in the working world and employers demand Windows-based PC computer skills. So even though many of us love our Macs and Chromebooks, we can't use them for this class. Now if you don't have the right computer set up for this class, you can make a request to borrow a computer from Highline or use the computer labs in building 30 at Highline. Now I sent out an email to the whole class about 10 days before the class started to remind you of this computer requirement. Because if you're going to borrow a computer, you got to do it as soon as possible, the first day of class at the latest. Now if you need to borrow a computer, here's the Highline College website link. If you have a computer but just need Microsoft 365, guess what? Highline and Microsoft gives a free copy to all students. And although we don't need to do it till week five, here's the link to download Power BI Desktop. The other two requirements are, of course, your computer has to have internet connection so you can watch YouTube videos. And if you're borrowing a computer, you want to get a jump drive so you can plug this in and save all of your files to the jump drive. If you have your own computer or you're using your jump drive, we're going to create a folder in video one, and then you save all your files there. So definitely get a USB if you need an external location to save all your files. Now back up to the top of page two in the syllabus. Here's my contact information, and my office hours are Tuesday, Thursday, 11 AM to 2 in either my office, 29307, or across the hall in the computer lab, 29308. If you can't meet during those times, all you got to do is send me an email. And usually I can meet sometime between Monday and Saturday. And I can meet by phone, email, or in person. I love for you guys to come in and see me live. It's much more fun that way. Next, I want to talk about the most important part of this whole syllabus. Notice we're at the People website. I'm in the Table of Contents. I'm going to click Schedule. This is the schedule for our class. It is not in Canvas. That means if you want to check out what you're doing for each week, you got to come over to the People website and check out the schedule. Now for week one, all you have to do is study the syllabus, study this introductory video, and obtain access to a PC computer with Microsoft 365 Excel. That means you have a whole week to get the correct computer. So when we start on October 3rd, you're ready to go. Clicking the Back button, 
There's the syllabus. The introductory video will have a link soon because I'm filming it now. Week number two, we have an introduction to Excel. And MEX video number one, MEX is the acronym we'll use for our videos. There is no test due, but there is a quiz. And this quiz is due by Sunday night before midnight. Now let's go look at where this video is and where the quiz is. If we look at our people website, week two, I click. There's two videos. The first video is two minutes long. The second one is 27 minutes long. But just as in Business 216, you don't watch the videos until you download the Excel file. And in video number one, we actually download it together, create a folder, name it, and save the file to that folder. There's also PDF notes. These PDF notes are a written and pictorial summary of everything in the video. I'm going to click the Back button. If you want to download the PDFs, right click the link and download. So you watch the video, you follow along, you study, you read the PDFs. Then when you're done for this week, there's only a quiz. In the home area is almost everything you need. It reminds you the content is in here. It's over in the people site. And sure enough, here's week two, and there's the quiz. When you click it, you'll see about 10 multiple choice or true false questions. Now let's go back to the schedule. Here's week three, introduction to building worksheet formula models and creating data analysis solutions. You'll study MEX video number two, and this week we have a test. You download the Excel test from below the MEX video. We'll look at that link in a second. And complete it, it's an Excel file, and upload it to the home area of Canvas before Sunday night at midnight. You also have a quiz to take in the home area of Canvas due before midnight. Now let's go look at where the video is and the test download link. This is in the week three area, so I click. There's the file to download. There's the PDF notes to read after you're done studying. There's the video. It reminds you here, you got to go over to Canvas and take quiz two. And here's the link. I'm not going to email you the test. You just download it yourself, complete it, and then upload it to Canvas. Now let's go look at Canvas. Here's the home area. Week three, there's quiz number two, and here's test number one. This is a true false multiple choice Canvas quiz. This is just an upload link. Going back to our schedule, and that's how it continues. Now there's some content I haven't posted yet, but throughout fall quarter I will post more. So keep checking back at our schedule. Now you definitely want to read through this entire syllabus. There's grading, Canvas quizzes, Excel tests. I'm going to click the Back button. So you'll be mostly working here. Back over to Canvas. You can look at your scores, but when you look at your scores, only look at the points. For every one of your Canvas classes, if you look at the overall percentage grade, it's never correct in Canvas unless you've done everything in the whole class. And I have a section in the syllabus of that. But the scores are always correct. Announcements, I'll make at least one announcement a week. And if you want to post questions about the videos or Excel, you can post it here. If you have questions about the test or quizzes, then you contact me directly, either by email or phone. All right, this is going to be an awesome fall 2022 Business 218 class. Fun, power, and efficiency with Excel. All right, we'll see you next video, next video number one.